Hello, dear friends. This seems like a utopia, but it is already being applied successfully in many parts of the world. Opinion piece. Permaculture. Permanent culture. It's not just agriculture. The path of simplicity. Harmony with creation. It is related to ecovillages. It is based on universal principles. How to find peace and prosperity. Applicable to various aspects of life. Construction of conscious communities. Resistance to changes and disturbances. This design based on the imitation of nature. Agriculture, economic, political and social design. Let's start. Everybody talk about eco-villages and the coexistence problems they raise, but they forget about permaculture, which would be the basis of any eco-village, to that it becomes an island of light and works as well as possible. Permaculture is a form of permanent culture because it aligns with the lasting models of nature. It is a balanced design that seeks to create harmonious, resilient and regenerative life systems, both for humans and for nature. The permis, as they are affectionately called, are people who seek positive solutions to the world's most serious problems, but the answers may be much simple, simpler than we think. Most of the problems are created by the human mind, which imagines obstacles where they do not exist, but this is avoided when you follow the path of simplicity. Food forests, clean energy, rainwater, harvesting, and simpler living may not sound like the revolution you envisioned, but changing the way we interact with Earth, other creatures, and each other could radically transform the way we spend our precious moments on this amazing planet. Definition The term permaculture comes from the combination of the words permanent and agriculture, but its scope has expanded to encompass much more than just agriculture. Permaculture is a system of agricultural economic, political and social design principles based on the patterns and characteristics of the natural ecosystem. It is holistic as it has multiple of ran multitude of branches, including ecological design, ecological engineering, environmental design, construction and integrated management of water resources that develop sustainable architecture and self-regulating agricultural systems inspired by natural ecosystems. A habitat designed according to the principles of permaculture is understood as a system in which the life of human beings is combined in a respectful and beneficial way with that of animals and plants to provide the needs of all in a way adequate. Integrating ideas and concepts from system theory, bio-cybernetics and deep ecology are applied in the design of these systems. The attention is not only directed towards the individual components, but also towards the relationships between these elements or among these elements and their optimal use for the creation of productive systems. Permaculture was developed in the 70s by Australians Bill Mollinson and David Holmgren. It is based on the observation and the study of natural models and processes to design systems that imitate and work in harmony with nature. The main objective is to create systems that are durable in the long term, minimizing environmental impact, promoting self-sufficiency and fostering resistance to changes and disturbances. Permaculture begins with observing and interacting with your own outdoor space, 
The goal is to align with nature, and for this, you first have to observe it. How and where does the sun move at different times of the year? Where are the hot spots and cool corners? Where does snow melt, water or rain tend to collect? What is growing already? Can you identify the plants, insects and other creatures that share your space? Beginning or principles. The fundamental principles of permaculture can be applied to various aspects of life, including agriculture, architecture, energy, economics, education, and community. Observe and interact. It is about understanding how a system works before intervening in it, and then designing them to adapt to local conditions. Obtain performance. Seek to obtain multiple benefits from the same element or resource, maximizing efficiency. Apply self-regulation and accept feedback. Design systems that can adjust and adapt to changes and challenges over time. Use and value diversity. Recognize that diversity in plants, animals and people enrich systems and increase their resilience. Integrate instead of segregate. Find ways to integrate elements and functions in a system instead of separating them, creating beneficial re relationships. Use small and slow solutions. Employ gradualist strategies and local solutions that adapt to the specific conditions of each place. Use and value renewable services and resources. Prioritize sources of energy and resources that renew naturally instead of depending on finite resources. Do not generate waste. Design systems in which the waste from the process is used as fertilizer through controlled fermentation or composting. Organic matter such as compost, worm castings and mulch can be added. Ecovillages. The relationship between permaculture and ecovillages is close, as both share a similar vision and approach to sustainability, collaboration with nature, and the creation of conscious and resilient communities. Ecovillages are communities that seek to live more equitably and in harmony with environment, with while permaculture is a design approach that promotes regenerative and sustainable systems. Both permaculture and ecovillages seek a design approach that is sustainable and respectful of the environment. Permaculture provides principles and methods for designing agricultural and community systems that mimic the models of nature, while ecovillages apply these principles in creating more sustainable human habitats. In both permaculture and ecovillages, there is an emphasis on self-sufficiency and regeneration. Ecovillages often apply agricultural, energy and resource management practices that align with permaculture principles to ensure that natural resources are used responsibly and restore balance rather than deplete them. Ecovillages and permaculture are also, sh also share a commitment to building conscious communities. Ecovillages seek to create community environments where the values of collaboration, mutual support, and participatory decision making are fundamental. These values align with the holistic and community approach to permaculture. Both ecovillages and permaculture have a strong focus on education and continuous learning. Ecovillages often offer training programs in sustainability and community life, while permaculture relies on sharing knowledge and practices to promote regeneration. In short, ecovillages and permaculture complement each other, as both aim to create healthier and more equitable human and ecological systems. Permaculture provides tools and design principles that can be applied to ecovillages and achieve greater harmony with nature. 
Breaking news. Fiat money printing is decimating the middle class according to Mike Adams. More than 80 countries are ready to switch to the BRICS system. The World Bank and the BRICS New Development Bank are beginning to encourage local currency lending. This will strengthen economic ties, facilitate cross-border transactions and encourage investment flows within each region. Stopping corruption in Iraq is like trying to put out the gas fire with your feet. Watch out for China's rapid development of laser weapon systems. Sorja Fall talks about a Chinese laser weapon attack on the island of Maui in Hawaii. Precisely, the Space Force has a base in Maui. Kerry Cassidy said that the Chinese satellite mapped the terrain using lasers and was photographed before the event. According to the Storm Rider, the ghost of Muammar Gaddafi is a legend in Africa. Libya was the first country free of the wealth debt, providing free education and health care, and paying for housing and education for its people to obtain university education abroad. Gaddafi began to create an African banking system backed by gold and natural resources. That's why he was overthrew. Plans The White Dragon Society's plan for the planet according to Benjamin Fulford. The ancient ruling bloodlines of the planet are trying to negotiate a surrender with the White Dragon Society and their White Hat allies. The main obstacle to replacing the current dystopian regime is the question of which alternative will replace it. For this reason, a set of proposals is being put forward that is not intended to be a definitive conclusion, but rather a starting point for a constructive debate on how we, as a species, should navigate into the future. However, the current system might crash before doing this. Puffness said, We are awaiting further news or moves to remove cash resources of all kinds from the system. That hasn't been an easy to do as first thought, because the miscalculations are peeling up, and the bankers and legal issues are piling up. Just take care of your own needs and the ones you care about. Make an effort to get stronger and do what you can, as a harbinger for the days when the liberties stop or there will be no more. Keep growing as much as, much as you can, store dry food and freeze dried stuff. Water is a problem even if you think it's not. Gentle persistence is trying to get everyone to pay attention to your nudges. You will survive, but it will not be easy for most. The day the funds are released is not in your immediate future, in his opinion. It wouldn't do you any good right now anyway. From now on, there is a possibility that everything can be frozen. Bank accounts can be frozen and cash too. Everyone is holding on to their power in whatever way they can right now. Remember what Puffiness thinks. In quotes, the day the funds are released is not in the immediate future. Time to stock up and prepare in other ways. But it's just his opinion. Messages. According to Keshirash, the dark elite want to move forward with a soft reveal, just long enough for them to say, well, we try to tell you. They only do this because it will be harder for them to hide it. Change is accelerating as more galactic ships are rebuilt in the sky. Daily message from Kesharash. Without love, everything is on the way to destruction. Where there is no love, there is chaos. Love, the essence of the source of nature, must be the essence 
and foundation of everything that is built in a society, if it, if it is to last and serve the greatest good of all. Constant joy is your birthright. It is your nature as a spiritual light being that you are. Existing in the third dimensional matrix, it can be a, difficult, a bit difficult to remain in that state of joy because the entire system was designed to disconnect human beings from their divine nature. Message to the people by Nadina Bohm No species will come to rescue you. That is not the way. You have seen how in the past, when a species came, you made them into gods. So this is not the way we want to help you or make contact. A person who believes in God, but does not follow any particular religion and has an affinity for mystics from various religious traditions, could be called a spiritualist or independent believer. One could also use the term relig religious agnosticism to describe this position, since they are open to the idea of the divine, but do not adhere to any specific religious doctrine. Jose Ortega y Gasset said that classifying the world into left and right would be idiotic, because both serve the same globalist master, with different strategies. This was his, his famous phrase, in quotes, being on the left, like being on the right, is one of the infinite ways that human beings can choose to be an idiot. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.